pretty good. You know, we hadn't lost yet, and uh, we're injury-free. Guys are really working. I feel like we've gotten uh, good leadership from a bunch of different guys, uh, a bunch of upperclassmen, more experience than we've had. So this is this is foreign territory, really, uh, for me as a coach. It's uh, it's been nice to have uh, practices with with uh, uh, I guess so many different guys being so vocal at different times and helping lead and coach each other. I feel like we're in a good spot right now. You know, we, we've improved in some areas. We obviously still have a ton of, of room for improvement, as I'm sure most teams do throughout the country. Uh, but I, I like our mentality uh, today, at least. You know, it's it's hard not to mention uh, Keon and, and Cordarius first, them being four-year seniors for us. They've, they've both um, continued to improve on both ends. Uh, they both continued to learn how to become uh, more uh, of leaders, you know, throughout their career. Um, that said, uh, Speedy and, and Raheem are probably as vocal as anyone on the team. The guy that's made the biggest jump in terms of leadership solely would be Raheem Appleby. He's uh, he's he's really in a good state of mind right now. He's 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 working really hard. He's he's uh, he's been extremely vocal. He's been extremely competitive in everything we do in practice. Uh, very proud of uh, the jump he's made with his leadership skills. Yeah, sure. You know, I'm expecting him to at least uh, compete to play. You know, to have a chance to play. A lot of it will depend uh, upon uh, you know how well he can execute what we're trying to do uh, when he's under the lights. You know, uh, that remains to be seen. It's it's hard for 18 uh, year olds to to get it, especially 18 year old bigs uh, who are behind three uh, veteran bigs. So. I guess the other factor will be how well uh, Kaiser, Massey, and, and Talbot are playing and, and uh, how much they improve throughout the year. But, but I expect Leo to be a good player here at Louisiana Tech for sure. Uh, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure. You know, I, I, I would hope that we'd have chances in those games, uh, but I know all three will be very difficult, and those aren't the only three, you know, that, that keep you up at night. Uh, Northwestern State is, is going to be very good again. Southern is going to be very good, two tournament teams. Um, I'm probably leaving out one or two postseason teams from from last year, but uh, Louisiana Lafayette will come up here with with two very very talented players and a good supporting cast. Uh, McNeese, heck, they beat us last year, so and that's that's one that we look forward to as well. You know, in, in terms of playing a really you know quality opponent, a quality program. There's a bunch out there, a bunch of opportunity for us it, as long as we continue to improve. Um, and, and do a good job in, in preparation of those games. Hopefully, you know, we can win our share as we did last year. We do. I, I mean, I, I, I know we can be competitive. You know, barring injury, uh, barring our, um, our mentality, you know, I guess the, the, the big hope is that we can have a similar type mentality in locker room as last year. If we do, I mean, I, I feel like we can compete with anyone on, on our schedule, you know, uh, whether it be non-conference or Conference USA. Does that mean that uh, we're going to squeak out as many close games as we did a year ago? I'm not sure. Uh, I think that'd be hard to do. At, at some point, the law of averages got to kick in if, uh, you know, if, if we don't become more efficient offensively. But um, it, are, are we scared? Are we, are we intimidated by, by some of these teams? No. You know, we, we think that we can be very competitive night in and night out. Uh, we'll see how we finish those games, you know, how, how we finish down the stretch. Um, in terms of you know the, the the last couple months of the season and how we finish down the stretch, late game situations will uh, will, will determine how many we can win and, and whether or not we're in the, the conversation uh, for a you know a championship come February.